Hi, this is Anne Hack from Green Talk, and I hope that the wind isn't isn't making the video hard to uh, listen to. But what I want to show you is what I do to chafe amaranth. And that's just, this is the same thing that you would do with any seed, like buckwheat or anything like that, because it gets a lot of flowers in it. So take a look at this is amaranth, and all that pink stuff in there that you see, a lot of that is flowers. So it's really windy out, and it's a great day. To, it's called chafing. You can do the same thing with a blow dryer, a uh, fan, but I prefer to do it outside. It's just easier because, as you can see from me, I have it all over me. and It'll get all over your house. So let me show you what you do. So you just take a handful and you face which way the wind is. And see how all the all the shape is going as I as I slowly throw it back into the barrel. You do this until. photographer full of amaranth. See how you just, I'm facing the, I'm, you know, I, I don't think there's any magic to it. See, um, all the flower just goes. And see what you have in here. See all the dark seed? This particular brand of amaranth produces a lot of dark seed. A lot of amaranth that you see is tan. Mine is black. So I know that I've gotten a lot of it. Because see how it's all black? And there's a lot more flowers to go. So I'm going to keep doing this until... I get most of it gone. So let me know in the comments below, do you chafe your 